Hey everybody, we're here at Tedco, and I wanted to show you real quick about the gyroscope frame. Um, a lot of people will contact us and tell us that their gyroscope sometimes may be uh, lagging a little bit in um, its spinning or its momentum, so I wanted to show you a quick trick on how to fix that if you drop it or um, you have some sort of issue with it. So one of the most important things you can do with your frame is, um, first of all, what you'd want to do is your gyroscope is going to come like this right out of the box. What you want to do if you have an issue, you drop it, hit a piece of furniture or something you know, with it, you can take the gyroscope out if it's not spinning right and you can actually offset the frame like you see here. So you um, offset the ring, you put some tension on it by just holding it firmly and squeezing that ring together. When you squeeze that ring together, the um, overlap here is a little bit more than what it was originally. That's going to put tension on the ring itself, which is going to um, cause the spindle of the gyroscope when you put it back into the frame to actually hold more firm, and that'll allow lot of play inside of the frame. Okay, so let's put our wheel back in. We put the pivot here back into the drilled hole of the frame on top. Then we'll stretch the frame with our other hand. I don't know if you can see that very well, but we'll stretch the frame out so you can see that I've, I've put quite a bit of tension on there. We'll line the frame back up how it's supposed to be. This is supposed to be flush, which you can see it is. And so now we have very little play in here because I've put a lot of a lot of pressure on the wheel itself. It still spins freely and everything works as it should, but you don't have a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, slop here. So that's how it's supposed to work. And I hope this helps you. If you have any problems with your gyroscope, you can always give us a call at 1-800-654-6357 and we'd be more than happy to help you. Thanks.